basically, I mean, the, the concept is to try to change the way people eat, right? And it's, and it's to do it in a way that's not combative, it's not confrontational, it's just to present something that makes people think that, you know, I can have delicious, nutritious, like filthy burgers that taste amazing. And um, there's nothing that was deliberately killed. There was, there was no animal that had to, you know, sit in a cage for half its life or have its children taken or all the other horrible things that, that happen. So uh, that's the whole concept behind it. The way, the way we do it is when you think about a burger, right? Most people, they're not thinking too much about the provenance of anything. They're just eating it till it tastes good, right? What I did was I got a bunch of my mates. I got sort of like 10, 15 guys that I know that medium rare steak eater kind of guys um, and girls um, to come in and, and sample the menu. And um, it took a long, long time before I was able to get scores from them. Initially, we were getting like two out of 10, three out of 10, but we kept at it. And um, especially with the, with the sauce, we ended up doing a taste test with all our customers and saying, can you tell which one has egg and which one doesn't? And at the end, they couldn't even tell. So, I mean, the, the, the way I'd reach people is just to say, if you're coming in for a good burger, if you want like a beer and a burger in a good environment, somewhere to chill with your mates and hang out, this is the place. You don't have to think too much about anything else going on. You just need to think about what you're eating. Um, if you enjoy the food, then you can, you know, take that further and yeah. My name's Matt. We've driven all the way from Campbelltown for the opening tonight. I heard that they were the best vegan burgers in town and simply had to try it for ourselves. They did not disappoint. We had the sumo burger, the chili beef and the cheeseburger. We're about to go back in and get the chickpea burger and give that a try. I uh, actually wasn't too sure what to expect but straight away the smell got me. It just it smelled like a burger bar. Um, and tonight at Soul Burgers uh, menu launch I had the sumo burger. The burger patty though was the winner of the dish for sure. It tasted a lot like meat texturally as well. Um, the burger as a whole was really quite, really quite delicious as well. Hey, I'm Benik. Um I'm from also from South Australia, new to Sydney. Um, yeah, same veggio. I thought we'd try out a, a couple of the new burgers in town. Was looking for a chicken burger because Mr. Tastes a chicken, but our mushroom burger just the same was really good. So yeah, it was good. One of our favorite uh, customers who's sort of a tradie that works around the corner and um, he's come in and had like three beef burgers back to back to back and he's just gone, you know, are you telling me this is actually not meat? And I'm saying it's not and uh, he's stoked, you know, so he comes in with a, for a beer and a burger like every day and, um, you know, I think that's that's something that we're, we're trying to change and it's it's difficult because, like you know, there is, right now there's a trend with, with having as many beef patties as you can and as many bacon and, and you know, sauce dripping all over and there's that trend. So we'd, we'd definitely be a different option. We'd be something that people might kind of raise their eyebrows at. Uh, my name is Phyllis. Uh, I live in Glebe and I just had the mushroom burger. Um, it's very tasty, uh, really juicy and delicious and it drips all over your hands, kind of like what you would want a meat burger to do. Um, yeah. <laughs> That's pretty much it. My name's Clarice, I'm from Sydney. I'm not a vegetarian and I just had the, uh, the spicy sausage burger and I was actually quite surprised by how tasty it was. So, yeah, I don't know what else to say. Yeah, we get, we get heaps of, um, we're, we're very lucky in that we get, so we get a lot of support from people that are just, you know, die hard, like, vegan um, customers that will come in and they'll travel hours to access food that's in line with their value system um, 
and that's that's really important for us you know that we need that grassroots movement we need people that you know will back us and and support us and what we're doing um, so we can help get the word out to the broader community um, but you know I always say that I'm not really trying to preach the choir as well so for me it's much more important that I get you know like a medium rare steak eater to come in and say you know that was that was amazing that that to me is the goal if that happens then you know we could we could just like tick that off because if we can do that then I think we can like take over.